Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review for you Town Scooter from Krivit, available at Lidl. And this review will be split in two parts. First it will be, let's say, theoretical a part that I will explain or um, share with you my, uh, my thoughts about this scooter. And second will be practical test and I will show you how it, how it runs. Uh, yeah. Basic parameters. I didn't find uh, uh, nothing about weight, uh, so I have weighed it um, uh, by myself, and uh, it weighs, let's say, equal five kgs. So um, please take it into account if you wanted to buy it to your uh, to your kid, or better to say, teenager, because uh, this. Um, Scooter is it's it's uh, quite tall, it's big, and I would say it's it's for adults uh, or uh, grown-up uh, teenagers. And in terms of dimensions, uh, uh, when it's opened, it's approximately one meter uh, by thirty-seven uh, centimeters by one meter, so uh, quite big. Uh, wheels have a dimension of uh, two hundred millimeters. And uh, the dimension of the scooter when it's uh, collapsed uh, is approximately 83 by 13 by uh, 38 centimeters. So this is uh, uh, the general dimensions and the deck is approximately 13 uh, centimeters wide and 30, sorry, 13 wide and 32 uh, long. Um, Maxima, maximum load it's 100 kgs, but um, I will rate, later on publish uh, or, or, as well a side by side comparison with a smaller scooter which is a called aluminium scooter and it has as well 80 uh, sorry sorry 100 kgs uh, maximum uh, capacity and I would say this I would believe it has the other one smaller brother I wouldn't say I have uh, big doubts about that. So, uh, coming back to this uh, town scooter as they are um, um, claiming it is, or the, the name is uh, town scooter. Uh, wheels. Uh, the wheels are the same like the, the smaller one, but I would rather expect a little bit, it's not a rubber, it's um, some kind of, uh, I would say, mixture of, uh, it's not, not rubber, um, but uh, the grip is not uh, sufficient, I would say. It's good for for ri riding uh, nearby to home, but if you want to travel uh, to your work or something like that, I have some some doubts, especially uh, if the surface is not um, dry. If there will be some moisture or after rain, I would really uh, be scared to ride with this cutter. Um, brake. It's made out of steel but it has no, um, how to call it, grip point because uh, everything made, is made out of steel uh, of course there is some design on the surface but uh, especially, I mean, if there is a, um, some kind of uh, moisture or after rain I could expect or I could um, uh, imagine that your foot will slide off this um, brake, so uh, better to, 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 to take, take, it, take it into account. Um, it has, uh, uh, this scooter, it has uh, some uh, springs just to um, make your ride smoother and you can see here and it's there. And my impression is when I'm standing uh, first on this scooter, or and try to to, to ride, it's um, it's it's behaving like a like a trampoline. So I have constant feeling that uh, something is wrong with this scooter. Something is not molded. I I do believe it's a question of the individual preferences, and uh, you, you most likely you will get used to that. But uh, first impression is that something is is loose. And this feeling, it's uh, even even worse if you uh, put it in the upright position. And by the way, how to do it? Just press this uh, button. This, and this blue one. And it's done. But, it's still, you have some 
I would say two millimeters of uh, of uh, loose that you cannot reduce it. So, uh, and by the way, just to fold it down, the same procedure. You need to press this button, this this and it's and it's done. So um, the, you have a constant feeling uh, that. Uh, your scooter is working like a like a trampoline. Plus, it's uh, it's a little bit loose all the way around. And uh, by the way, the the st steering wheel have uh, quite decent adjustment. Four and the in between is like a five centimeters, maybe seven. So I would say uh, good adjustment. No no problems with that. And. Uh, even though you can make it, let's say, more rigid by uh, grabbing here uh, on the top, it will still have some decent loss. So I'm not big fan of such compact uh, scooters because, on the end of the day, uh, it's a compromise with stiffness. So that's that's my opinion. Let's move on, to, and I will show you how it's uh, working the when it's uh, when it's. Uh, in the upright position.